Welcome back to the shop. It's the 22nd of October, 2017. Hi, everybody. Oh, ooh, that's some good sweet tea tonight. All righty, let's talk a little bit about who was here this weekend. Wasn't a busy weekend as far as having folks over. Jay came over on Saturday. He helped in the log yard and lumber yard cleaning up. Uh, did a little bit on the sawmill. Really appreciate the help. Thank you, Jay. Everything went smoothly. I think the yard's looking a whole lot better. Sunday was a really busy, exciting day. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. Alrighty. So let's talk a little bit about what went on this weekend in the shop. This week in the shop, uh, we did a little bit of milling. Now, we worked Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was off Thursday and Friday, right, Rev? Yes, sir. So, had an extra long weekend. So, we did some milling, and uh, what we did was we uh, we sawed a couple of uh, poplar logs, got them ready to make some stickers. We got some really pretty boards mm -hmm. out of those. Yes, we did. Real didn't. straight arrows, staying flat. I think they're going to make some great stickers. Now, we got this log a while back from Daniel, and it's been sitting, on the, uh, sitting in the yard for a while. Uh, when I did all that milling a couple of weeks ago where I got the red oak together, I put those two poplar logs up on the, uh, the ramp and uh, we got those cut up and really looking like we're going to get some good stickers out of that. Uh, we also took and made a cant out of a poplar log that Daniel had brought us at the same time he brought us the first popular log, poplar log we talked about. Got it sawn up into a cant, got it sitting over on the side, kind of trying to decide what we're going to do with that. Uh, we also did some red maple. That red maple, now, you know Big Daddy D come out of Harlem the other day and brought us a big load of maple. Red maple, just absolutely gorgeous. Now, he brought us what looked like a worthless dead log. But I guess, I guess he's got an eye, as did Jay and uh, Mama, because they both saw something in that log. I had it destined for the burn pile. But no, we cut that thing up and milled it, and did we get some beautiful boards we out of that? We got absolutely gorgeous boards out of that. We got some stuff out of there. Y'all will not believe how gorgeous it's going to be. It's going to make good end tables, coffee tables. It's just, it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous boards. I didn't see it. Everybody else saw it. Really looks good. I'm excited about the projects coming up for that. I don't know. Uh, Jay's got some really good ideas. Jay, chime in in the comments below on what you're going to do with a couple of those boards you made. Really good looking uh, uh, set of lumber we got there. Uh, we continued the yard cleanup, like I said, getting everything done around the lumber and the log yard. Everything is looking good. I don't know. How do you feel it's about it? It's absolutely wonderful now yeah. because it, you can get around so much easier. Yeah, and you can find what you want. It's easy to get to it. It's easy to bring logs in and out on the trailer, on uh, what we call Ben's trailer that we got from our buddy Ben, uh, um, Emily's daddy. Uh, so we, we can move in and around. It's just it's super easy, super great. I think we're going to like this a whole lot. Uh, we moved the lathe. Now, did y'all notice that? We used to come in from the right, and we've had to shoot this a couple of times tonight because I felt really, really off balance because yep. I'm coming in now from the left, and it just felt really odd. But let me tell you, I like this new setup. What do you think about this? I think it gives us a lot more room in the shop to get around and paint and do what we have to do as well. Yeah, now this table that I'm sitting at now isn't sitting this way through the, the shop. The lathe is sitting behind me now. If you come into the shop, if you remember where the lathe was, the door's right over here, and the lathe ran this way down that same wall. Of course, now it's running this way. I'm going to be able to make a, a little bit of a vacuum system to pull everything out through this window behind me. It's just cleaner and neater. The only thing i got to do is there used to be that cabinet, about six foot four cabinet that sit over here that's a uh, pin turning cabinet. It's now a little out of place over here. But what I'm going to have to do is turn this shelf around. There's a shelf up over this window behind where the lathe used to sit. I'm going to take that shelf and move it behind me. The lathe or the uh, pin cabinet is coming over here. And then we're going to move everything else out over here. But it gives us a lot more room to film. I Mama think looks so. a lot more comfortable. She's not pushed up against that old um, uh, door behind the uh, stairwell and where the joiner sits. So it really, really, I think, is going to work a lot better. And just a ton more room. So we're excited about that. Moving that lathe was a job. Thank you, Jet Lathe. Uh, the, the, the the casters that you put on there, the polyurethane uh, reel, wheels fell off and I wound up dragging that thing um, off the uh, from one spot to the other. Super, super heavy. Uh, gave me a fit. Uh, anyhow, and we also went to the auction last night. Went to yes, the auction. we did. Let's take Yay. a look at some of the stuff we got at the auction. This bird cage is one of them, and I think this is going to be destined to be either a desk lamp or a, a hanging lamp. And then we got some really nice little footstools. 
Now, Mama's already started the renovation on this one, and it's going to be completely different, but uh, really a pretty, pretty set of uh, uh, footstools that she got. Now, we got, you know, you know this mid-century modern furniture is really making a comeback, and look at this. Beautiful lines. Yeah, it's a little hokey on the, uh, the upholstery, if you can see that. I'm going to hold up closer, but look at that. It's classic mid-century modern furniture. Looks good. We're looking forward to actually redoing that one. I think we got a couple other little small things. We got some bar stools. Didn't really look the best in the world, so Mama's taking those apart. We're going to make tables and end tables out of it. We got this for a lamp fixture. Now this is heavy. This is cast iron. It's really, really heavy. It's a stove top, uh, but we think we're going to make a light fixture out of that. Going to need a heck of a ceiling to hang that bad boy though, because that's a pretty tough piece of steel. Uh, we got a bunch of other things that I can't think of. We've got some of the Halloween decorations behind us here. Uh, we got a really, really cool lamp. Now, this is kind of old school right here, looking maybe uh, 60s, you think? Maybe 60s. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Does work. Works really well. Uh, our friends up at Sunset Auction got us fixed up on that, gave us some really, really good deals. But the stuff we got, just too numerous to, to mention and to show you everything. But we got some really good stuff. We're going to do some stuff with these bar stools that I think is going to be really cool when we get done with that. It's just going to be some neat, neat stuff. Mama has started taking them apart. And this is destined to be a table, uh, legs and table. We're going to put a top on it. Uh, I think we're going to make a, a whole set out of it with some end tables and stuff. So some really cool stuff coming on, uh, on, on down the line for that. I uh, hope to make a few build videos. Build videos, now remember, we're going to get into the build videos for y'all so you can keep a little bit better track of what's going on in the shop. We're going to start doing that probably in January. Uh, Red works on some cedar top tables. If you'll give me one of her cedar top tables here real quick, we'll take a look at that. But there's some really, really nice cedar top tables that we're working on here. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I think we got three, four, maybe five of those in the process of being done. So she's been real busy with that. We made some of our sign people things here that Mama and I make. Now these things are real, real popular. Remember, we make these uh, in the scarecrows and stuff like this. Now this is going to be, we got four Grinch. of them made. We're going to make two Grinch and uh, two uh, Snowmen. So we've got those. That's so that's what we're going to be uh, kind of up to with that. And Mama cleaned up the, the mom cave. Now the mom cave was kind of getting a little bit hairy looking in there, but looks good now. Uh, so we are uh, we're got kind of got caught up there. We're getting caught up in the mom cave, the yard, and the shop's getting a revamp on it. Let me grab a drink of this good sweet tea here. Mm. So let's talk about completed projects. Now, we only got one project completed, and that was a wood burning project that Mama did. Come out really, really nice. I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. But I'm going to hold it up here to the camera so y'all can see. Is that in focus pretty good? Yeah. All righty. So that's really, really cute. Uh, we think it'll go over. Her wood burnings are real popular. But what we found is, is we don't try to do a project, project, project. We get a lot of stuff started at one time, and then it just seems to kind of all tie up. And I think that really works best for us for whatever reason, our personalities, our mentality, the way the shop's set up, the way the sun, the, sun, the moon, and the stars. I don't know, but it works for us. I think it works well. Well, if we do four, like four of the snowmen and stuff at one time, then I can get them yeah. painted, and then we can put four more together, and I can get them painted. That yeah. way we get projects and done. Really, yeah, and the, really the fun part isn't putting them together no. sometimes. That's kind of monotonous. What she really enjoys is, is the painting on them and giving them life and expression. So I, I think that's going to be how we continue to work here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of what we uh, we got completed and done in shop. A little bit update on that. Now, mm, that tea just gets better and better. Okay, let's talk about markets and shows. Markets and shows. As I mentioned, uh, we're not going to the uh, uh, the Atlanta market up this uh, this year. That's going to start back when I think they start in March, and I think we're going to try to be part of that. Is that correct? Or start yeah, in March? I would rather go there than yeah. the Augusta market. Yeah, and as we mentioned, we wanted to go up this past week, this past Thursday and Friday. We originally had taken the time off to actually go up there and be part of the market. Unfortunately, as I said before, we just didn't feel like we'd have the, uh, the, the amount of uh, uh, really uh, tables and really projects that we needed to do that and make a good showing for a three-day show. So we had canceled out on that, and when I say canceled out, we had never actually set up to do it, but we had canceled on our schedule to do that. And we're going to ride up just to look at the Market 400 to meet Barbara up there and, and just have a kind of a good time. But unfortunately, again, Michael and Emily were both working, and I want to go up there when I can spend some time with them. Now, what we do have coming up, 
as far as shows and stuff is Pioneer Days. Now we have committed to Pioneer Days, yes, right? We, we have. Got, yeah, you've called, you spoke to the lady. Yep. And, she, and we got the yeah. we got the thing. You printed it off. We just didn't have any inkers, so yeah. I'm gonna end up sending it to my email and printing it off at work tomorrow. Okay. And, and when you uh, you talked to the lady, how was her reception of us? Oh my two God, being awesome! Here? We were woodworkers. She was so excited that she had some and being pioneers to know that we have a sawmill and the wood is yep. coming straight from a sawmill. It kind of goes with the theme, so she's loving it. There you go. So they're excited for us to be there. We're excited to go. Uh, 18th of November 2017. If you can be there, guys, be there. Kind of come out and uh, hang out with us, help us sell some stuff, but mostly meet some really neat people. We're looking forward to that. We're excited about that. Hopefully, it's not going to be the last show of the year, but it may be just depending on what happens now. All right. So let's talk a little bit about what we've got upcoming for two dogs. It's going to be busy. All righty, we're going to saw that red maple log that I've gotten. I set up on the ramp the other day. I picked one up. Me and Mama put it on by ourselves with yep. the tractor. We got that sitting up there. Uh, we're going to pick up a third poplar log from the people we talked about. Not today, Sunday, but last Sunday we went and got two logs from. So I'm going to try to get that picked up. Uh, we're going to maybe mill a poplar log. Mama's got one out there. She really wants. We need to get Big Daddy D to roll out of Harlem and cut her some four-inch disc. You want off that? Make mm -hmm. some cookies off that end of that. Uh, we're going to complete a couple of these tables, I think, this week. Yep. I think we're going to be right on target for that. Uh, we're going to complete some of the uh, sign people I just showed you. We're going to do two snowmen and two Grinches. Grinch. Is that proper English? Grinches? Grinches. Grinch. We're going to do Grinch Eye. Okay, we're going to do two <laughs> Grinch Eye out there. Uh, we're going to complete those footstools, uh, the two footstools I showed you. I think we're going to try to get those completed. Yep. If not completed, at least worked on because we do have some time before the Pioneer Days. Uh, and we're going to see if we can't go look at a, a oak log over at our good friends from Sunset uh, uh, Auto, Sunset Auction. They've got a huge, huge oak tree over there just begging to be picked up. We're going to go look at that and make a plan for picking that up. So we thank our friends up at uh, Sunset for that. All righty. You forgot to mention the Coke machine. Mm. The big find at the auction. Do y'all remember the Coke machine that used to be in the office when I was up here with Miss Mary? That little one you went in and you pushed your button you got you just the right amount of Coca-Cola? We picked that up at the auction. It's sitting up over here in Two Dogs Kitchen and uh, uh, Bar and Grill. Uh, I found a source to get the uh, little syrup containers that will be refillable because they do not make the Coca-Cola Coca does not make the syrup containers anymore. So we're going to have to uh, buy uh, refillable ones. And I'm going to have to get some soda in here, but we're going to have a uh, soda fountain in Two Dogs um, uh, Kitchen over here. So we're looking forward to that. Thank you for that reminder. Well, that's about it for this evening. As always, we'd like to say thank you for watching the video. And remember, we'd love to see you back in the shop.